Welcome back, super friends and super family. I'm Nick, and today I'm reacting to Friends Season 6, Episodes 3 and 4. So the sixth season is off to a strong start and a bit of a complicated start, right? We have some things set up with Ross and Rachel, especially, potentially. Also, some complications. Uh, maybe I'm overthinking it. Maybe I'm just worried about Monica and Chandler, but I could see things going in a few different directions for them as well for this season, but definitely interested to see where we pick up and how things progress. As always, if you want to watch along the full unedited reaction to my friends' reactions, it's all up on Patreon, along with future episodes of Friends if you don't want to wait and care to support the channel. Let's just get right into it. Friends, Season 6, Episodes 3 and 4. Joey has been holding his breath for almost four minutes. Has he actually been holding his breath? Oh, come on. Come on. <laughs> Monica must have been playing along. How would I move in with you? That would be great, but then what do we do about Denise? Who? You have a, a roommate? Really? Yes, Denise. Denise. How come we've never met? How can you have a roommate that none of us know about? I talk about her all the time. Denise! <laughs> hey, why don't you move in with me? It'll be great. We can, like, stay up late, talk. I don't think Rachel will want to. It's all about Naked Thursdays, right? <laughs> <laughs> and you lost her at that part. Hey! I thought Naked Thursdays was just our thing, man. <laughs> that was very special. I mean, it'd be great if Rachel, you know, I don't think she's gonna move in with Ross, you know, her current husband, but it'd be hilarious if she moved into that building as like one of the neighbors across the way. So what did Rachel say when you told her you were still married to her? Um, she took it really well. We didn't talk about it. Because you're in love with her. I am not in love with her. She the was... jury's out on that. What do you mean comforted her? Gave her a hug. Aha! Uh -huh. A classic sign of love, the hug. <laughs> did you or did you not smell her hair? <laughs> well, what if I did? Uh... Scent of a woman's pheromones come out the top of her head. Is that true? So that men will fall in love when they hug them. <laughs> I like this theory. It smells all, all uh, you know, coconutty. <laughs> It doesn't mean I have feelings for Rachel, maybe it means I have feelings for coconuts. It does not mean that. Because I am not in that place. Okay, I didn't understand that. <laughs> I mean, I did. Because you were speaking the secret language of love. <laughs> Some guy just called for you. Who was it? I don't know. How about thanks for taking the message? Who was it, though? I'm genuinely curious. Rachel's room's gonna be empty. You wanna talk about what we wanna do with it? I'm guessing you have plans. Comment card so people can tell us how much they love staying here? Or whatever, you know, I really haven't thought about it that much. <laughs> but I was thinking maybe, maybe, maybe it could be a, a game room. Oh, no, okay. Big, big, big ones. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, we can't even discuss it? The beautiful guest room is gonna be filled with antiques. Which is why Asteroids is perfect. It's the oldest. <laughs> yeah, he was thinking, he was thinking. Especially since everybody that we know Lives about 30 seconds away. <laughs> Are you mocking me? No, I'm not mocking you or your beautiful gay me. <laughs> I mean, I think Chandler does have a point. Who's gonna stay there? Can I had a stupid fight? You're still moving in together, right? Because my ad came out today. Don't worry, it wasn't that big of a fight. Female roommate, non-smoker, non-ugly. <laughs> <laughs> non-ugly? <laughs> oh my gosh, Joey. A guy who's not 19, then say a girl who is 19. <laughs> <laughs> Not just a hat rack, my friend. <laughs> You're just staring into space. I'm trying to move that pencil. Oh, really? Every place that I can afford comes with a roommate who is a freak. I mean, look at this. Was Eddie gonna make an appearance? That would be amazing. He's going on a dig for like two years, and he's got this great place. He needs a sub. Oh, dang, really? That sounds great. Yeah. I'd love to live at Warren's. I love Warren. <laughs> If you want to thank someone, thank the volcano that erupted thousands of years ago. Thank you, volcano. Here's Warren's number. The historical silver linings? Does it fit in that category? <laughs> <laughs> Phoebe's like, was it a friend hug? Was it a friend hug? <laughs> I saw it. She's watching you. You know, that you love her again, you re-love her. <laughs> you can live with me. What? What? Are they actually gonna do that? I think Rachel would say yes, would she? Wow, I'm, I'm so happy for you guys. This is so, so <laughs> not stupid. <laughs> You're my hero. Oh, <laughs> hero, I, I don't know. Well, all right. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> <laughs> 
You're gonna say things now, aren't you? Uh, yes, I can't wait. He was secretly married to her, and he said he didn't love her, but he really did, and it just blew up. That did not happen. She ended up living with me. <laughs> that cannot be Denise's origin story. Okay, that's a lie. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been incredible if it was true, though. Then we'd have to meet Denise. Now I have you. No, no not that I think that I have you, or think of you as- You should have rehearsed this better. Stop it, Chandler. <laughs> I'm sorry, too. Really? Yeah. Okay, good. We don't have to come up with this now. Oh, good. <laughs> I'm talking about the Barca Lounger. Where is it gonna go? In the game room. <laughs> okay, now we're back. Now we're back. I wouldn't want to ruin the ambiance over here at Grandma's place. <laughs> oh, don't worry. I'm not really a party girl. Whoa. He's like, dang it. I want you to be. Hi, I'll be living here. Just some guy who really wants the apartment, but I don't think he's gonna get it. <laughs> the shower curtain down. That thing was a hazard. I'm very safety cut. <laughs> Monica's and she and Chandler had a big fight and they're not moving in. Is that official? It's off? Moving in, right? No, no, they just had a big blowout over what to do with my... Dang, so Rachel could be right. I don't have to move in here. Oh, no, no yeah, no, that part's great. <laughs> What's all this about you guys Oh, fighting? good, good. We have a counselor with his own motivation. Is so silly. No one better to solve a fight than someone who's been divorced three times, too, right? Well, why don't you tell her to stop being silly? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> What's more important, love or silliness? <laughs> but we also have a soft spot for the love. Love is the best medicine. That's laughter. Why do you do it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> You want to live with Chandler, don't you? Yes. Good. A verbal contract is binding in the state of New York. <laughs> Ross, well, you got what you needed. <laughs> so I... Oh, 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 oh. I was going to offer you my apartment. The whole thing? Where are you going? I don't know. We get to be roommates again. Yeah, you know, um, about that. Has she changed her mind? Don't you think it's gonna be weird? Why, why, why oh, would it, why would it? used to be in love, Ross. <laughs> that was a great set. I mean, are you still in that place? Asking for a friend? Eventually, you and I are gonna be dating. What? Really, we are. Well, yeah, I'm gonna have a boyfriend. You're gonna- Oh, 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 oh now I get it, now I get it. Come back later, I'm getting lucky. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that'll, that'll thrill Ross. <laughs> so are you sure about this whole moving in thing? Oh dang, oh dang, Ross. The big step, and then what's the rush? <laughs> He's being silly because he knows that we enjoy the silliness. <laughs> you were right before. It was just a stupid fight about a room. Okay, there are no stupid fights. <laughs> this is about what the room represents. represents. <laughs> This room could destroy you! <laughs> yeah, no, me neither. Fine, it's your life! Let's <laughs> break up, you know, which you will move in together. <laughs> That's what you want, there's nothing I can do. <laughs> Don't do it! <laughs> oh, Ross needs to stay this way forever. Ross didn't scare you? Scared me out of ever wanting to live with him. <laughs> Oh my God, someone's killed Square Man. <laughs> Is it a place for his chair? We could get one of those signs and hang it over our bed. Is he being serious? Oh my God, I love that. Really? Uh, uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I found you Oh yes, in my yes. Bed. Back performing, finally. Little black curly hair. <laughs> little black, little black, little black, little black, little black curly. This is another hit. I like it. That's about my upcoming show. Oh, she's then promoting give better. Me money so I can buy a computer. <laughs> oh dang! Oh dang! Someone get her some money. She needs a computer. I really think it's great they work things out. Yeah, there's no breaking them up, is there? <laughs> Trust me, I've tried. She's already talking about you know dating other guys. Find someone, and then bam, she finds you. Ross is like, okay, this might work out. She is definitely gonna fall in love with you again. Is that what you want? Uh, is that what I? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Rach, why don't you just move in with me? Oh. We've been over this. Unless you're thinking about naked Wednesdays. What's it? Thursday's clearly not good for you. Pick a day. 
Oh, Joey, okay. No competition there, Ross. Before I make my decision, I, uh, I just want to make sure that our personalities match. Oh, yeah, the personalities. Okay, here we go. Pillow. Fight. Very good. <laughs> G. String. <laughs> Doggy. Kitten. Oh. <laughs> you almost so had close. the room. No, but, okay, bye bye. <laughs> what a screening process, man. Which of all of this kitchen stuff is mine? This bottle opener, and it's a magnet. That's the only thing that's Rachel's? Is that true? You have the one thing I don't have. It's like, uh, in a way, you, you... Complete me. <laughs> Phoebe came just in time to hear that. Bleep me kitchen, matey. <laughs> when she finds out you're already married, oh, she'll just be happy. You know, you're just, you're very sad. <laughs> oh my god. I mean, that is what you're thinking, isn't it, Ross? You are in love with Rachel! <laughs> Don't even try to deflect like that. Uh-oh, saved by the bell. Is this gonna work, Ross? Aren't these candlesticks mine? No, no, I bought those. Bitch, you're a liar! <laughs> Was the head of the paleontology department. A why a you? <laughs> Dang, he gets his job back. Remember that paper I had published last year on sediment flow rate? Oh, we all remember that. Well, who wouldn't? <laughs> I know. <laughs> Professor Geller. Yeah, Professor and Mrs. Ooh, did Rachel hear that? Just kidding. <laughs> oh, the relief, the relief on Rachel's face. Oh my gosh, when she finds out, she's never gonna forgive you. Well, you almost destroyed him there, Phoebe, with that slip. That's gonna be like the secret this season, just like it was Monica and Chandler last season. The secret is the fact that Ross did not get the annulment. Psychic, I see. Yeah. She told me that I'm gonna die this week, so I'm kind of bummed about it. What? What psychic tells you that? I know a lot about psychic readings, but that one is pretty much the worst one you can get. It sounds pretty bad. Hey, you don't believe her, do you? She also said one of them would be black. Uh. <laughs> Okay, well... I've really got to start living now. Okay, what have you wanted to do all along, Phoebe? <laughs> Read magazines? <laughs> Today's my first lecture. I wanted to try it out on you guys. Do you, do you mind? I want to hear. <laughs> That's all the answer you need. That's all the answer you need. <sighs> Definitely open that way. Can be further subcategorized into two oh, this distinct... this is it. This is what's going to kill me. <laughs> Yeah, the psychic was telling the truth. Never seen a guy stare so hard at a piece of paper that didn't have naked chicks on it. <laughs> Each of these theories can be further subcategorized. <laughs> Open with a joke. <laughs> Open with a joke? Yeah, why not? You're not talking about Chuckles University? Okay. Oh, uh, no, no, no. oh now he's offended. <laughs> you know what's a good visual aid? Please don't say naked chick. <laughs> why not? To get some honest feedback. No naked chicks. That's why I did it until I was 19. <laughs> <laughs> Chandler is so quick, man. You got something from the Screen Actors Guild. Ooh, okay. it's probably a residual check. Hey, uh, can you open it for me? Hopefully. Benefits lapsed. I don't remember being in a movie called Benefits Lap. Oh, no, 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 no. Or Catch on Fire, you know? <laughs> but it wouldn't matter. Now I gotta be careful? <laughs> I'm gonna go see my agents. Okay, make sure to look both ways before you cross the street. <laughs> Oh dang, oh dang, you need that insurance right away. Hey, hey, Phoebe, you're still alive. <laughs> so exhausting waiting for death. By the way, do you think you... Uh, uh... <laughs> was that supposed to be a real fake out? I was preparing you for my death. Didn't you think I was dead? Did that not come off? Not a hundred percent. Oh yeah, scared the hell out of me. I thought we'd lost you forever. <laughs> Better than the death in The Dark Knight Rises. Okay. Who put those there? I have no idea. They're really great, aren't yeah. they? I love them. Yeah. <laughs> nice truck. <laughs> Who actually bought them, though? My money's on Monica. It went great. Really? And I didn't need any joke naked chicks, either. Okay, Roz, good for you. Sorry we weren't more supportive before. It was let the materials speak for itself. Well, with your target audience. Funny and sexy. Well, I proved them wrong. <laughs> the news on to Joey and Chandler. That you're not funny or sexy? That's right! <laughs> so you came back, huh? They all come crawling back 
to a st When did he leave? I never left you. you. You've always been my agent. Really? Yeah. Has she not been helping you at all? No foul. <laughs> oh my gosh, Stop. she's the worst. Someone out there may have been bad-mouthing you all over town. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I wonder who. <laughs> This is for me tomorrow. My health insurance back in no time. What happened? Shouldn't you be on the toilet right now? What? What's wrong with you? Yeah. I don't think it's anything serious. <laughs> you have to you, you go to the doctor. Yeah. It's gonna be for this thing sticking out of my stomach. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna have to start working out again. Damn you 15s! <laughs> Hi, Mr. Kappa. Hey sisters! Wow, we really are bitches. <laughs> You have to look from the outside. Back from the laboratory, he made a startling discovery. What is this voice? <laughs> Imagine his consternation when... <laughs> oh, bloody hell. <laughs> he has a whole secret identity as teacher. I opened my mouth and this British accent just came out. Yeah, not a very good one. <laughs> no. I'm sorry, I've got plans with my sister. <laughs> Monica Geller. <laughs> You can have an accent, but I can't. How about the morning to you, laddies? <laughs> yes, yes, Bombay is very, very nice this time. <laughs> no, no, no. Now this has just gone to a full farce. Hey, will you grab me a crawler? <laughs> <laughs> to the hospital? Dude, darker and more painful. That means it's... Oh, yes. Oh, yes. What's going on? Well, Joey's got a really bad hernia, but it's nothing with a little laser eye surgery. <laughs> hey, maybe you'll die. Don't wait too long, though, okay? Because I'm out of here sometime before Friday. <laughs> Evie's 100% sincere. We can come back and we can haunt these guys. Oh, that would be fun. No, they are mine. You stole them from me. You stole them from me. Who bought them originally? That's the owner. You just want to each take one? Yeah, that seems fair. We never use them. <laughs> Why? Why did I have to speak in a British accent? What? Ross, this is why you need therapy to fi figure out the answer to this question. Adjusting to life in America. Come on, Ross, no one will even notice. I mean, the They'll notice. They'll notice, right? They're not listening to oh, me? Here we go. Of course. Everybody listens to you. <laughs> you really think I should try this phasing out thing? I think you look fine. <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Okay. <laughs> Hey, Timmy. Watch him get this. If you could play a little less intense. Well, yeah, sure, no problem. He just needs the right roles to audition for. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, Timmy. Oh my gosh. Got a surprise for you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> That's gonna get you banned from another audition, man. Pick up a bag today. That's where you pick up the bag. Exactly. I'll, I'll demonstrate later. I didn't get it, did I? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Joey Tribbiani, I'm here to audition for man. You mean dying man. Oh, good. Yes. Oh, finally, finally, okay. My reading was wrong. I'm not going to die. How do you know? Because my psychic is dead. Whoa, really? Dang, dang, it backfired. I'm sorry. Eh, better her than me. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, true, but Phoebe is so happy to be alive. <laughs> Thanks again. Help me take a shower. Now, is that never talking about it again? <laughs> Hi, Alex. And uh, as you can see, my hands are not in my pants. <laughs> Come on, son. Mama's good people. <laughs> take two. Take 36 is up. Oh, dang. Joey's going to die before this kid gets it correctly. Is it all right with you if I, if I scream right up until you say action? <laughs> Good <laughs> Take a look at this, kiddo. <laughs> Were they rolling? Were we rolling? Let's go, let's go. Oh, the kid will be traumatized, but we have it on film. Hello. Uh, hello, is Ross there? Uh, no, he's... Oh, no, no. I assume he's decided to give the marriage a try. Ross got married again? <gasps> no! <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was perfect. That was perfect. The laboratory, the team would never have identified. <laughs> Were there any questions at this point? Yes. All about your voice. What's happening to your accent? Come again? What's, what's this nonsense? <laughs>
The accent just, um, just came out. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, were there any questions? <laughs> I mean, I would say I want this teacher in a permanent position for sure. Well, uh, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, we need a full-on team of analysts to break down that. Big, big swing, okay? Oh. Now don't hold back. Okay. To your head? What are you doing? We're just celebrating that Joey got his health insurance back. Oh my gosh, not like this. All right. <laughs> like really, all of them? <laughs> This is actually a great little cold ending. All right, so that is Friends, Season 6, Episodes 3 and 4. Uh, Ross, man. I mean, I thought that Ross was in just kind of a unique emotional, a unique place of emotional fragility for a large portion of Season 5, but I, I feel like we are seeing another phase of that, even a whole other level. I mean, it is, I, I like the dynamic, like I kind of said, between Phoebe and Ross, of Phoebe realizing Ross's secret, which... At this point, I'm putting a lot of money that Ross is still completely in love with Rachel, just in the most extreme form of denial about his real feelings. But I love the flip-flopping back and forth that Ross had. I mean, obviously, we kind of have a little conflict between Monica and Chandler as they're trying to figure out what to do in the apartment living together. But I just, I loved Ross on both sides of that issue, both telling them no matter what they need to move in together this is the best thing but i also loved you know kind of the ending of that whole arc where he's telling them no matter what it's your life but you're gonna break up if you move in together i mean i just thought that was very very fun comedically and worked well kind of combining ross's storyline with monica and chandler's storyline which you know talking about uh, monica and chandler moving in we have a little bit of conflict with that a little bit of an issue what to do with the spare room i mean look i feel like that is something that's going on between the two of them i mean i think the room ultimately is pretty silly but part of what you know makes Chandler and Monica work so well in my opinion is that they are kind of they balance each other out well you know as far as like differences in their personalities but along with those differences is going to come some disagreements some tensions you know I'm sure you know even as something as basic as like Monica's sense of style is very different than Chandler's and a lot of their outlooks and kind of attitudes towards certain things in life where Monica's very intense and aggressive and competitive of Chandler's kind of the other side of that so like I said I think they really do balance each other out out well but there obviously are going to be some some conflicts and things that have to be worked out together because of those differences in personality and kind of outlooks on life and then obviously we have joey with you know his acting career not going so great him losing his health insurance and it was great to see joey's agent back because she's such an awesome character i mean of course, for some reason, she would think that Joey had left, and I'm assuming that's probably part of the reason why this whole past year Joey has not gotten that many roles, especially if she's, you know, talking trash about him, you know, spreading bad rumors throughout the industry. I mean, what an agent. But she's just an amazing character. It's great to see her back. And then we have Joey, you know, not having health insurance, trying to just suffer through the pain, which... It's pretty relatable to me. I mean, I'm sure anyone growing up, at least in the U.S., right, like in your 20s, when you have to go on your own as far as health insurance, you know, I let's just say I can 100% relate to it. I don't know what the health system is like in, you know, country to country, but at least for me, you know, knowing like the expenses of having to go in for a hospital visit, you know, and pay out of pocket, I have a thousand percent been it's probably not advisable so don't kids you know anyone watching this don't take my experiences or things i've done with health but let me just put it this way i can very much relate to joey not wanting to go to the hospital because i'm like i don't want to pay for anything i really don't i mean when you're in an extreme condition like joey obviously you need to go and i haven't been in that quite situation but just the mindset of being like look i'm young i'm betting on myself my own health i can't afford for things to go badly right now i feel like many people can probably relate to that myself definitely included but i did think it was pretty funny how that ended up getting joey like a role where he was playing a dying man i mean that played out in a nice amusing way ultimately with his hernia being enough to help the kid you know cry as well so you're helping not just yourself in your career but you're helping other actors as well it just joey way to spread the love that's really that's really how you do it but you know as far as development i mean ross's storyline in episode four was just was just awesome i mean here he is getting uh it was 
wasn't fully an opportunity for his job, but it was definitely an opportunity that maybe could lead to a more permanent job position for Ross, which would be a significant step, right, in, like, recovering his career and potentially his life from where it kind of sank to in season five. So I am pulling for him on some level, but it was just so, so funny that, of course, Ross panicked. I mean, before the whole English, you know, British accent scenario, which is really, really great writing. I love that that's what Ross did in a moment of panic to try to be more interesting. There is something just inherently interesting, kind of sophisticated sounding about British accents. At least I think that. But even before that, I like I like what he was like trying to practice in front of everybody and everyone is just so, so bored. Like, oh, here we go. Ross with another paleontology speech. And also it doesn't help that Ross's delivery of a speech about, you know, subject matter that most people are just not that interested in. You know, his delivery is so, so bad. But that whole scene of him trying to look up from his nose was really well acted, really, really funny. And then I love his celebration when he comes back and then it's just like, they found me interesting even though I wasn't funny or sexy or anything. And Monica's like, wow, you're bragging about that? I mean, obviously the way they did it in the show was much funnier than my breakdown, but I thought that was very amusing. But then it led, of course, to him having to phase out his British accent. <laughs> and the reaction from the students was just perfect. I mean, of course that would be interesting. And then the cherry on top is Rachel confronting Ross at the end in front of the whole class about how he lied about getting a divorce slash annulment for them. Which, to be honest, they actually, uh, Rachel found out much quicker than I thought. Like I said, I kind of thought that was going to be like Monica and Chandler's secret, which obviously that lasted much longer in season five. So I thought this was going to be a similar thing. But no, Rachel knows the truth now. And now I'm very excited to kind of jump into the next couple episodes because I want to see how this situation is handled. How angry is Rachel going to be? I mean, obviously we saw she was furious, but is that going to lead to more permanent distrust in their friendship? Is it going to draw them further away? Is Ross going to be more vulnerable and maybe tell Rachel how he's feeling? I don't know, but I'm I'm interested to see like the aftermath of where we just ended this last episode. But I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. As always, the full unedited reactions along with future reactions of friends are all up on Patreon. That's the best way to support the channel. The link is in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, always remember, be active, be mindful, and be a hero.